going on, guys? We're about to check out Candace Owens, and she's about to be speaking about Taylor Swift. Just probably things gonna be real upset. She's gonna be mad, man. She's gonna be mad. What? You're talking about Taylor? Like, damn, bro. Like, okay. I seen you with the guitar. That's where you get it from. You got it from. You got it from Taylor. Taylor Swift. All right, let's check this out, man. Let's see what Candace has to say. This should be a quick one. I just have to hammer this because it's the end of the week. Don't be mad at me. You are going to be mad at me. You're always mad at me. I'm trying to bring up Taylor Swift. I ain't going to be mad at you. But it seems like a lot of people do be mad. Like, damn, why can't she just... She could give her opinion on Taylor Swift. What is... Taylor Swift. Uh, Voldemort? You can't say her name? <laughs> she who should not be mentioned? It's like, stop. Leave me alone. And he's just a 15-year-old girl. She's not a 15-year-old girl. I'm very proud of myself because... People didn't understand this. I am the only person that has been raging against the fact that her and I are the same age and 35-year-old women do not behave. I ain't going front, fam. When I first heard uh, Candace Owens talking on about Taylor Swift, I was like, man, little Taylor. Well, she just like, just went to college. Man, well, she ain't doing nothing crazy. And then I looked it up right? and saw the age of Taylor and was like, hmm, that, that don't seem right. That's when I, I realized, oh, that's what the marketing is. They make her seem as young and just like, what's the word for it? Uh, young and like, more like a damsel in distress. And I would say, yeah, she has that type of aura, right? Where it's like, oh, can't say nothing about little Taylor. <laughs> little Taylor with her little pigtails going to school and it's like she like 30 something bro right but it's, it's good marketing what is the word i'm looking for to describe her innocent i'll be smoking innocent yeah she has like this really innocent image right and i do think that's 100 percent done on purpose 100 percent. especially if you listen to the context of her songs yeah she's doing everything as if she's a coming of age movie for a 13 year old girl which is probably why she has that many fans just like that age too as well. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's hundred percent done on purpose. I don't think that's an accident by chance. I don't think it was by accident or chance at all. This way. And I will be the only person that points this out until you all come back to me when she's 40 and she's behaving like Madonna on Instagram. I'm going to be like, well, the signs were there that things were not right with Taylor Swift because she acts I like mean, a child she... and nothing frustrates me more than the fact that she fucks up girls like they're barbie dolls and she's just collecting them and pretends that they're best friends and so now obviously taylor has instantly become best friends it's so easy to become best friends you just have to meet somebody and then you're just like a puppy and you love each other instantly at the age of 34 and you have no questions and her and Brittany mahomes are now best friends because Brittany mahomes oh my god that's so funny you're dating someone on the team too oh yeah i'm actually married to the star quarterback oh, sure. patrick mahomes let's be best friends yeah sure let's make sure we're we're the paparazzi are all the time and show people that we're best friends because we're gonna hold hands yeah, that's what they're doing. Her and Brittany Holmes, who just met one blink ago. Candace, people are about to, they about to try to go at you. I could already tell, because before it was because they was doing a handshake. And I laughed. I was like, oh yeah, Candace being petty. I wouldn't take it serious. Uh, Candace, now you about to... Man, what the girls be doing that sometimes? Right? I, well, little girls, I guess, right? Yeah, so I guess I see her point. Grown woman... Is this a scenario with a grown woman? I would as assume for like support. Like, yay, sisters. I just imagine y'all be doing that. Just sisters. Or when y'all go to the bathroom together, y'all like hold hands. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I never paid attention to it. I never. This is, yeah, that's why people are going to say this is petty. Taylor, new beau that she's been seeing for a couple of weeks. They are now holding hands everywhere. It's a Lena Gomez. That's crazy. Is it, are she holding Selena Gomez? Right, and grabbing her arm. Selena was probably like, don't touch me. They go. And it's cringe. It should make you cringe. It should make you question why she acts like this. Two 34 year old women do not really hold cringe. hands after they just meet. Trust me. How do I know? I'm a 34 year old woman. Here she is holding a sleeve. You don't hold hands. 
can't. You ain't holding hands out here in these streets. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, I get it. I can't blame you. Even though I'm sure it would probably be pleasant for the person holding Karen's hand. But she should probably use like really soft lotion. I mean, some like extravagant joint that we never heard of exclusive. She ain't got like diamonds in it anyway. I don't know. That's what I just, I just imagine that she got diamonds in her lotion. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I don't care. They hold their hands. Yeah, it's maybe a little weird, but I'm a weirdo, so I don't really see it as a big deal. She's just being petty and having fun, and I know people are going to be upset at this. In a Gomez's hand, because now she's out in public and she's she's in love, and so holding hands is definitely a sign, uh, you know, that this is your best friend. Did she say she's in love? Holding Selena Gomez's hand, because now she's out in public and she's she's in love, and so. <laughs> Yo, Cand Candace gotta stop saying she in love is crazy. <laughs> Says she's in love. She gotta hold hands. Yo, holding hands is definitely a sign. Uh, you know that this is your best friend. It just I would say it's a sign of like some feminist ish, bro. I would say, <laughs> yeah, she going hard. I'm telling you guys, this is just not normal behavior. Funny. For a 35 year old woman, you don't meet a woman and then instantly hold their hand a couple of weeks later in public. It's, there's just a little bit more of like, who are you? What do I want to know about you? And then even if I absolutely love you, like, who am I a fan of? I love Rihanna. I get it. People throw things at me. Oh, Rihanna's just like, okay, I have a thing for Caribbeans. Obviously, I'm a little biased because my family is part Caribbean. And I just like Rihanna's vibes. And if Rihanna and me were vibing and then we were like, oh, yeah, like we like each other, like we're Caribbean, I wouldn't be like, let's hold hands in public. You would think it was weird. If Rihanna and me were holding hands. No, I would not. In all due respect. I'm sure a dream stuff like that, actually. No, no disrespect. No disrespect. Kind of sound like a dream. Right? That sounds like, sound like the start of... I might have slapped myself. I'm awake. Pinch muscle. I'm seeing this. What's up, ladies? Hand holding? Oh, y'all want me to join? I got enough hands for everybody. Hands. God damn. My bad. I went into a hole in my brain. I be imagining stuff. My bad. But I don't think that sounds as unpleasant of, of a sight as Candace. <laughs> She's probably going to come across the video and be like, who is this weird guy? This guy is weird. This, this is a weird guy. But for some reason in your head, you're going, I don't know, Taylor Swift, I just kind of let her do that because she has convinced the world that she's 15. And two 15-year-old girls holding hands, by the way, totally appropriate. Barely appropriate, but totally appropriate. All right, guys, yeah. we like this. It's, it's kind of weird, but I wouldn't go too hard. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a little weird, but I'm weird as heck, so I ain't holding no dude hand. No, that, that's crazy. That's crazy. Never did that. I did one time at a restaurant because I thought it would be hilarious. The girls went to the bathroom together. I tapped my friend like, yo, come on, man. <laughs> His face. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. He was like, yo, fans. I thought you were serious. I'm like, why would no, bro? I was just imitating them. That was funny though. Girls do that. It is weird. I've heard different reasons. It's like because there's like a line in there. They don't want to be like alone in the line. And then sometimes they go in the stall together. And just, I hear a whole lot of different things, right? That's weirder than holding hands. Like y'all going in the stall together, you about to smell all that. What's she about to do? I don't want to be in the stall with you. I don't want to be in the stall with you. In fact, I don't like no one being in the bathroom with me at all. I don't know how females do that, but I digress. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Y'all didn't want to hear that extra at the end, but you got it anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! Tricked you. Watch more videos, Fang Gang. What's going on, guys? If you want to see me live stream, there's two options right now. Currently, currently, 
but now I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. You can go and follow me on there. And I'm also going to be live streaming on Rumble. You can go over and follow me on there. If you want to get access to my live streams and be able to watch the playback, that is the best way. Twitch and Rumble. See you guys later.